Hey guys, it's Jim and welcome to another quickie video. Now, my friend Simon, he is also known as Gundam UK. He posted a video on <clears throat> how he does his bamboo skewers or his painting sticks or whatever you want to call them um, to place parts um, on alligator clips so he can paint them easily. I do mine a little bit differently. Um, it might be a little bit of more work but I like my method and I thought I'd share it with you guys and a couple of folks also have messaged me asking me why my sticks look kind of different and and how I make them so um, here they are here are my sticks um, see it's a little bit uh, kind of different and there's a reason why I chose to do them this way uh, mainly the reason is because when I'm spraying in my, uh, in my booth I sometimes find um, the sticks a little bit cumbersome, a little bit too long. Um, so I want to have the option to remove this and use a, a shorter stick, um, which is way easier to rotate, it's round, um, and um, it's easier to hold. It's, I can get into the spray booth without having a long stick um, bumping into, into the bottom or the sides of the spray booth it's just easier in my opinion um, also I have I have the option to you know interchangeable heads basically um, I don't have to have like a set of of sticks that are only big alligator clips or small ones I can have um, you know I can put this one on or I can put this one which is larger or I can even just put one without a clip because some parts don't even require clips like this one see and if I'm going to paint this piece I can just take this and place it here and just it's, it's easier to manipulate that's my thought um, so how do I make them um, simple I get these clips from my local Radio Shack which is like an electronic parts store um, and it's not the best and cheapest place but it's convenient for me but you can probably find these online on eBay cheaper you need your alligator clip and you need a toothpick I find easiest you just cut because you don't really want the sharp end you don't really need it right and basically you just place it there and you take your pliers the needle nose pliers are easiest to work with in my opinion Wrap it around like this. And there we go. Nice and tight. And there you have it. And for the sticks, now these are uh, these are not bamboo skewers. These are actually chopsticks. Now I've used bamboo skewers before. The skewers that typically you use to uh, place pieces of meat. Uh, to do like a uh, grilled shish kebab, you know, uh, or a barbecue. I find those to be um, not straight. They tend to curve. So it's easier um, for me to just, just, it's better for me, in my opinion, to use chopsticks because they're straighter. They're really straight. And basically what I've done is I drilled a hole on the top with uh, a, a, a drill and that's it that's pretty much it I'm done I'm done and I have a bunch of these Let's see I keep them tied with a rubber band and I keep the individual clips in little bags so I just pick one depending on my piece if it's a small piece I'll use a small alligator clip if it's a larger piece 
I use a larger alligator clip and I also have ones that do not have alligator clips on them because some parts don't need them like I showed you before so that's it so you can get these chopsticks uh, in your local um, Asian market, supermarket is they're really cheap you get made like a hundred for like two dollars or something like that uh, most of these uh, to be honest with you guys uh, most of these I just got by uh, <laughs> by just uh, saving the sticks uh, when I go to the Japanese restaurant to eat some sushi or when I go to the Chinese restaurant so I find these sticks these are the ones that usually are served in Japanese restaurants I find these um, the best because they're they're not as thin as the ones in the Chinese restaurant but anyway that's it that was all I hope this uh, video helped you guys out for those who are beginning painting their kids and they want to try uh, using skewers to hold their parts I hope this uh, helped you guys out uh, and uh, thank you for watching I'll check you guys out later bye